who invented trigonometry? Hi, my name is Jimmy Chang. I've been teaching college math for nine years. And there's actually a multi-part answer to that question because trigonometry didn't happen overnight. In fact, it evolved over centuries. Now, in the next couple of minutes, we're going to give you a brief history as to how it began and where it ended up. It all started with the ancient Egyptians and Babylonians. Now, they did a lot of work with triangles and similar triangles, and they took a lot of records as to the rising and setting of various celestial objects, but they didn't really have a good grasp of angle measure. They took a lot of records and they figured there was something there, but they didn't quite know how to approach the whole angle and trigonometric functions idea. Now, over time, the Greeks, who are always forerunners of mathematics, they came up with the sine function. The Indian mathematicians came with the cosine functions and the inverse sine functions, or sine inverse. Some time later, the Muslim mathematicians gave us some more trigonometric functions, secants, cosecants, and the relationship that tangent is equal to sine over cosine. They also gave us the law of sines, which is something that's been used today to help find the different parts of non-right triangles. But also, by the 10th century, every Muslim mathematician was using all six trigonometric functions. They were among the first. And then, one of Copernicus's students developed right triangle trigonometry. Trigonometry, up until that point, was expressed and defined primarily in circle form, but the student of Copernicus was able to define all six trigonometric functions using right triangles. And as a result today, most mathematicians and instructors use both approaches to figure out values of the tr trig functions. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and this has been a brief history of the invention of trigonometry.